I'm Kim Brown with IMTS TV, and I'm in the FFG booth with Pete Mosher and Doug Watts. And here we're going to talk about two new innovative products. First, we're going to talk about the MAG MMH 500. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Pete? Yeah, so the MMH 500 is, is MAG's latest introduction uh, for horizontal machining centers for North America. Um, similar to what we've done with all of our products uh, from MAG is, is that we want to make sure that these machines are set up exactly for the market that we're producing them for, and we want to produce them as close to the customer as possible. Um, so our latest machine is the MAG MMH 500, um, and it's, it's set up for horizontal milling of 500 size cube uh, pallet parts. And what solu solution does it provide? Well, the, the, the most significant solution that it provides is that it is, it is ideally set up for North America. So things that we've done uh, to the machine to make it uh, easy to connect to your utilities so there's no isolation transformer required. And we've also made the machine very versatile in the fact that it can machine lots and uh, many different parts uh, on the same machine. Uh, things like infinite table are included, uh, things like it's already set up for high pressure coolant, uh, and also uh, it's got a very uh, diverse spindle, either 12,000 or 15,000 RPM. Okay. And is there a specific audience that this new machine would serve? Yeah, it's really ideally set up for uh, either low or medium volume uh, parts producers. Um, we offer the spec line, uh, which, uh, which Doug will talk about in a minute, uh, that's really set up for high volume. But these are this is for our lower volume and medium volume, or even ty different types of parts that they need to manufacture on the same machine. Okay. And is there a specific industry or end user that this may serve? Uh, I think it's kind of a wide range in terms of the industry application, um, just because it is so versatile. Um, so it can do soft metals, it can do hard metals, um, and it can, it can do uh, a variety of those different things. Great. Thank you, Pete. Doug, you're going to tell us about the MAG SPECT 600? Yes, I am. So the SPECT 600 that we're showing here today is part of a larger family of spec machines that range from 500 single spindle machines to 800 size spindle machine, single spindle machines, but are also available in two spindle machines from 450 to uh, 600 size machines. Uh, the spec family is a long generation of machines dating back to 2000. Uh, the machine that we have here at the show is basically a generation three spec machine. Uh, and the spec machine comes from a high volume um, manufacturing philosophy that is really customizable for large OEMs in the automotive uh, manufacturing base. And what solution does this machine provide? So this solution uh, for our automotive customers is very configurable, which is uh, for, for large scale manufacturers, they each have their own unique set of characteristics and um, mannerisms for processing parts that they, they would like to adhere to. So the configuration or configurability of the spec machine is very important for those end users. Uh, that also means things like machining wet or machining dry or machining with MQL on the same platform are available with spec. Uh, it further means if you aspire to linear motor machining, we can also build the spec machine for linear motor. But then also probably most importantly, it's really configured for um, it's duty cycle and life cycle based. These machines are intended to go into the market, produce a lot of parts for a long time, and to do that in a very accurate way. And then I would say the last piece really is, is that they're also designed for a whole um, um, different set of automation types of strategies, from gantry loading like we're showing here at the show, to robotic loading through the front, or even for some of our Asian uh, companies being able to manually load them through the front of the machine. And you mentioned automotive. Are there any other industries that this new machine may serve? Yeah, for sure. We've been very focused here in the last five years in particular for finding ways to uh, reduce the cost basis for the tiered markets that are serving the automotive customers by taking some of the flexibility out of the spec machine from a configuration point of view and really getting to a configuration that's affordable for the tier markets so that they can take advantage of the, uh, all the important characteristics of the spec machine, in particular the speed, accuracy, and reliability of the, of the machine. Great, thank you. Now, Pete, what else is here in the FFG booth for the visitors to come see? Yeah, so besides, besides the MAG brand, we also have SMS, uh, we have Feeler, we have Leadwell, we have DMC, and we also have SNK as part of our booth. Well, there's lots to see here at the FFG booth. It is 338129, 
If you'd like to learn more about the two machines that both Doug and Pete were describing, you can visit mag-ias.com. I'm Kim Brown with IMTS-TV. Thank you for watching.